Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, my friends, this is the Vintage Everton Music Podcast, and I am your host, Rev Recluse, and, and welcome. And before I start things off, I want to apologize for the, the the voice that I have right now. I have a frog in my voice, a literal frog in my voice. I've been battling a, a bad cold for the last three or four days. It, my voice is gone to Tom Waits-type levels. It's starting to come back, so it's not nearly as bad, and I almost... Uh, I almost said that I wasn't going to do it this week. I was going to do the, the podcast next week. But since we're smack in the middle of Klondike days, and this is a Klondike theme album, I want to spring on you fine people. I couldn't do that. So I'm going to soldier on and get this one out for you because this is, it, again, one of my all-time favorite Edmonton-centric albums that I picked up here. This is an album that was made and, and sung by the students of Avalon Junior High School in Edmonton in May 1973. This is an all-original album, all-original music and words, Klondike theme, called When I Met You. And it is about a, a young man named Simon who comes to Fort Edmonton Park during the Klondike Gold Rush, meets a beautiful Klondike girl named Michelle, and, and things ensue because of the background of the, the Klondike Gold Rush. And Fort Edmonton also, which makes it uh, even more of an Edmonton-centric album than I usually have here. And this is a relentlessly charming record, a relentlessly well-done record. I... I'm a collector of these types of records, uh, class records, school records, especially between 1970 and 1980. There are a lot of them out there, not just here in Canada or but across the North America. A lot of them are hit and miss. A lot of them are very bad. A lot of them are very good. This is a very, very good record, and I'm very glad to to show this and to play this for you fine people. So I'm going to get right into this. This was produced at Ruin Recording Studios here in Edmonton, one of the big three that was around in the, in the 70s, along with Project 70 and Damon Recording Studios. It was produced by R. Bauer, whoever R. Bauer was. You did a fantastic job here, and thank you so much for doing this. So the first couple of songs I want to play for you kind of set the stage of the, of the musical. It's called, uh, the first one is called That Certain Feeling, and the title track of the album, When I Met You. Again, it sets the stage of what's going to be happening here for uh, the Klondike Romance. So, starting things off, this is the students of Avalon Junior High School from 1973, May 1973, with the all-original musical called When I Met You, here on the Vintage Edmonton Music Podcast. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm certainly glad you could keep our date. May I introduce myself? I'm the spirit of 98, and I invite you to come with me back to the days when the West was new, meeting miners, trappers, and lumberjacks as they opened our land for folks like you to hear a tale of love so true, a love to make the warm blood flow. To stir the hearts of one and all We'll meet again, enjoy the show
Hi, my name's Michelle. I've never seen you in here before. Oh, hi, I'm Simon. I'm new in Vancouver. I just arrived from back east and hope to see the Wild West. Welcome back to the Vintage Everton Music Podcast, number three, featuring the students of Avalon Junior High School doing their all-original musical, When I Met You. Now we're going to move on to the story here where uh, Simon is uh, courting Michelle at this point, and uh, Michelle turns out has actually has a, another boyfriend or another suitor named Jason, and Simon and, and Jason uh, decide to uh, have an arm wrestling match to, to see who gets the court, Michelle, I guess, at the end, and uh, things don't go very well for Simon as you'll see and he, because of that he has to write Michelle a letter basically saying well I, I screwed up and I, I didn't win Jason is going to court you now and, and it's a very soulful song that seeks into a fur trapper's barn dance or square dance and uh, I, I, this might be my favorite record or my favorite song off the record this is uh, Simon singing Dear Michelle that seeks into the Fur Trapper Square Dance here on the Vintage Edmonton Music Podcast. Michelle's my girl, Simon. If you want her, you're gonna have to fight for her. Tell you what, Jason. Let's have an arm wrestling contest. Winner take all. Little fella, you're on. And the winner is Jason. Yay! No hard feelings, Simon. Of course not. All right, Michelle, a letter. Don't cry for me 
Jeppet Music Podcast number three featuring the students of the Avalon Junior High School here in Edmonton, Alberta from 1973 with their all original musical called When I Met You. Now the story has moved along to the point where Jason and, and Michelle have uh, started courting and Simon has moved on. He's moved on to the Klondike and uh, he's panning for gold. He's uh, pining away for Michelle. He's very depressed and upset and, and feeling sorry for himself. And he decides to uh, sing another one of these very soulful numbers that he's been doing all, all of the record. This one is called Alone. So this is Simon doing Alone here on the Vintage Edmonton Music Podcast. In Fort Edmonton, the Trapper's reunion is raided for selling illegal whiskey, and Simon is forced to flee. He decides to head for the Klondike. Again our hero hits the trail to the gold fields he is bound. He'll stake his claim and strike it rich or end up in the ground. Howdy, son. Welcome to my claim. 
My name's Carrion Carver. If it's gold you're after, I'm your man. Thanks, Carrion. Maybe I'll stick around for a while. But after a few weeks, the loneliness and the failure to find gold causes Simon to think of going on. As Carrion puts it, the loneliness you got to accept if you hope to strike it rich. I stay here all my life With nothing left to do And no one's here to care Welcome back to the Vintage Edmonton Music Podcast, number three, featuring the students of Avalon Junior High School here in Edmonton from 1973 with the all-original Klondike musical called When I Met You. We've reached the end of the story and the album, All Is Well. Simon and Michelle have gotten together. There is a happy ending, and they are celebrating with the other Denzians and, and friends and uh, people who live at Fort Edmonton Park with the Fort Edmonton stomp leading into the the big production number called Fort Edmonton is My Town. Again, this is a relentlessly charming record, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. So I'm, without further ado, this is When I Met You with the Fort Edmonton stomp and Fort Edmonton is My Town here on the Vintage Edmonton Music Podcast.
Okay, folks, grab your partner. And square your sets. Body your corner lady. On your own, gal. And let her rip. <laughs> As he trekked the land alone At last it seems he's found a wife And a place to call his home But now I'm sad because it's time To leave you now you see So here's a song, remember well This land, these folks and me Welcome back to the Vintage Edmonton Music Podcast, and I want to talk a little bit about what's going to be coming out on the next podcast, number four, which will be coming out in uh, approximately two weeks. This is going to be featuring Jack Hennig, who has had a long and varied career in uh, the Edmonton music scene in the 60s and 70s. He started out with a psychedelic band called The Breaking Point, kind of eased into folk music in the early 70s, and by the late 70s, he was uh, a full-on country artist, uh, was a regular in Edmonton lounges and, and hotels and, uh, and places like that and roadhouses and not only in Edmonton, I have been in Calgary and around Alberta as well. Also had a lot of his songs being done by other artists in Edmonton as, as well. And um, this is a really nice one for me. I have about five or six of his albums and I'm going to kind of pick and choose which ones I'm going to play on the podcast. So I hope you enjoy this one as much as I do until next time. Hopefully I'll have a better voice then, but until next time, this is Rubber Clues on the Vintage Edmonton Music Podcast, and I'll see you later.